Welcome back. <laughs> Sorry. Were you just lipsing? I thought you were going to count. I usually do, don't I? Yeah. I was just trying to keep you on your toes. Yeah. One, two, three. Welcome back to the <laughs> Too Fast. <laughs> You're right. There's usually a beat. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> Welcome back to the A-List Podcast with Allison and Alex. I'm Allison. And I'm Alex. And this is Stanley. Oh, I'm so sorry. You just punched him in the face. I'm so sorry, buddy. <laughs> I will say that um, last time I was editing, we sound so professional when we say that. We do, yeah. We sound like radio hosts. When you edited last week's episode, did you notice oh, no. how much he was playing with his beaver toy? No. Literally, I just couldn't stop watching him. He just didn't give he didn't give two Fs what we were doing. He was just like, <laughs> I'm gonna play with this. No, no, no. You're, sure, you can't you jump can't there. Jump there. Come over here. Come over this way. Go on. This way. <laughs> oh. An athlete. He must be watching the Olympics. Yeah. He is. I have a lot of uh Olympics content to scheduled discuss. today because uh, to be real honest, we haven't had that many days in between the last time we recorded. So I don't have a lot of life updates. <laughs> since then true we haven't even played another game of dodgeball that's tomorrow (laughs) correct we haven't and um i've been living and breathing the olympics why are we recording today because we have dodgeball tomorrow we have something Something else thursday on thursday (laughs) and it doesn't matter it's not gonna come out out. we can say what we're doing (laughs) oh yeah we have a surprise party for one of our friends yeah and And then i don't know and then Friday, oh, it just feels like it gets too close to editing. It by does, then. yeah. So here we are on a Tuesday. Tuesday. 90, it was 99 degrees yesterday. My car, I got in it, it said 108. Oh, God. I think that was probably just like that's the temperature. That's too hot. Inside, was that inside my car, do you think? Maybe, probably, but too hot. Too hot. Like that's Palm Springs level and no. I don't, I hate it. I you hate know it. what? I thought today I was talking to someone and I was like, Oh, well, at least like we only have a few more weeks of it being this hot. And mm. they were like, no, no, we have more than that. It'll go into October like this. October? That's what it did last year. Oh, my God. I can't deal with it. Like it's I, a lot. What's the opposite of like when um, elderly people move to Florida for the winter? I need to move somewhere for the summer that's cooler. Oh, right. So what are they called? Snowbirds, right? Yeah. What's the opposite? Summer mm. pheasant. <laughs> summer pheasant. <laughs> I need... <laughs> I'm going to be a summer pheasant. Okay. And where can I move? That's cool. Well, hold on. Snowbird. Like they fly away. Is that what is it? Yeah, come they're from? leaving the snow and going to the warm. So what animal likes to go to the cold? We're snow leopards. That's already a thing. Yep. Yeah. No, but. Snow cats. But we need to get opposite of snow because they oh, are right, leaving right, right, the right. snow. So it's snow. What's what happens in the summer? Sun. So it'd be like sun something. Sun leopard. Sun leopards or Target. <laughs> sun leopards? Sun leopards or sun but polar sun bears. Sun cats. Because it feels like sun, cats like to lay out in the sun. <laughs> yeah. Definitely better than sun polar bears. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sun cat. I will be a sun cat and okay. I will go to Alaska. To be a sun cat. Yeah. Probably not a lot going on there. But I just like, I can't deal with it. And really, I just need to have central air and then I would be happier. Yeah. I helped our friend pick up a entertainment center today in Santa Monica. We walked into this girl's apartment and it was as hot out as it was outside. Mine would be if I wasn't running my air conditioning 24 seven and my bill was $130. That's more expensive than mine. Yeah. Well, yours, you can air. keep it. That's true. I have nests. What I did learn box. is that my um, windows are east west facing and that makes it hotter. You get the sun both times. Correct. If I if my windows were flipped, I think it would be a little less hot. Okay. It would still be hot because it's 100 yeah, degrees yeah, outside. Yeah. But I don't think my place would be holding on to the heat as much. Sure. And also my window... I've said this before, so sorry. But my I only have two wall units and they don't reach every corner. Right. So my bathroom stays hot mm. because... Would your products melt? Um. No, but I have to put my bread in the fridge because if I don't... And it's in just the cupboard. Like a normal person just puts their bread in like in the cupboard, cupboard or yeah. whatever. I tried that last summer and like within like 
two days, it was moldy because of just how hot. Much moisture and Yeah, heat. so I have to put all my bread in the fridge. Well, and that is my least favorite way to have bread. Yeah, I don't love it, but like I need my bread to last more than two or sure. three days. Of course. Of course. So. Well, yes, I've been li- living and breathing the Olympics. We I came over the other day and we watched ping pong, we table tennis. Ping pong, table tennis, yeah. Uh, that was pretty intense. I couldn't believe how far away from the table they got. And how also how close they get for the their serve. Yeah, the serve. I need to know if Bizarre. anyone plays table tennis competitively. Can you <laughs> that's explain listening the, to like, this? They hold their paddle like up by their face. Yeah. And do, like a weird like. To me, it feels like maybe it's a tactic so you don't see where they're going. I mean. Because if sure. I was doing it, I would be like bounce, hit, and mm. you would see like the direction my yeah. paddle's going. So maybe that's it. Um, but it was a gold medal match, I think, between China and Sweden. Mm-hmm. And China won. They did. I was watching synchronized swimming yesterday, which is now called artistic swimming. Okay. I didn't know. That's like they said it in is the it, intro. It's the exact is same. Is it offensive thing. to say synchronized swimming? I think because it's just different than being synchronized. There's like art in it. Yeah. Why haven't I seen that? I'm sure I would like it. It was so good. I don't get it. I don't understand how they scored them. They I was listening to the commentary and I was just like. This is my takeaway from all the Olympics. Yeah. Whatever you think you know about scoring, you don't know anything. No, because we were also talking about how in gymnastics, when where they would be like, "That's going to be a deduction. That's going to be a deduction." And then penalty would be zero. I saw on Simone's the point. She got a penalty. You mean for last night? I watched that too. Yeah. That was the first time I'd actually seen a negative on the penalty. Right. And I don't understand what made that. Can we talk about that? Was like some drama in that one last night. I have also the drama between Michaela Skinner and her on here to talk about. I don't know so. anything about that. Well, but I will in tell you specifically that. in the last night's like uh, individual, the um, floor routine, the floor. So did you watch the bar before we get into that, or the ba- balance beam where everyone f- fell? Literally everyone didn't see balance beam. Okay. Floor with like her and Jordan play silver and bronze. Yeah. So I was kind of like, I I don't know where the girl was from, but she went right after Simone, and she was incredible. Yeah. Is this the girl that thought she won and then lost? No, that oh, is. That, that was one, really sad. I can't. That was so hard to watch. Did you see her in the background crying with her, hysterically? With when her flag and then like she put it down when she realized. Yeah. No, I there feel was like the girl. they should say like everyone just sit for a second while we double check the scores. The girl that went after Simone had was this did the second most difficult routine and yeah. nailed it only stepped out of bounds once yeah she was so good i don't know how she didn't place and also if every time that they were doing like a cutaway and you saw them in the background they her and her coach were like yelling at each other because it, i think yeah something was off there so was it was too good they said on the um because Lori hernandez was one of the commentators and she said she was like i i think she was like i also don't understand why her score is so low and she said it's on her coach to submit an inquiry like jordan Childs did so i think she was probably yelling at her i don't know if there's a time frame in which you can submit the inquiry before like after you are done maybe she didn't do it in time but Lori was like yeah i also don't know why her score is so did not make sense like even and that was Lori hernandez that was yeah um, because they did say after she went they were like this is gonna score high yeah i was shocked it was nearly flawless yeah she i heard her say um you can submit an inquiry but it like your um your coach has to be on top of doing that. And if they don't, then nothing's like, you, you can't do anything about but it for Jordan to like jump from fifth to third. That's wild. Yeah. And it was just like her, they were like, she got a higher score when she qualified it or whatever. And so they were like, we don't know what the difference is between what she just did. And when she qualified and you gave her a higher score. So we're going to submit an inquiry to be like, can you look at it again? To, because that we feel like it should inquiry. be higher. Got it. And that's, they were like, I, she didn't have anything to lose because she was so far down. Right. So she might as well just submit it and just see what happens. And yeah. it worked. So Ooh. I feel like that girl was yelling at her coach because maybe she missed the window of opportunity to submit an inquiry. Because I think Jordan was, was Jordan last? Jordan was last, yeah. So she just mu- must have right away yeah. done it. But yeah, the girl that thought she got third was crying. She was so excited. She got her. <sighs> Her flag, she's like getting ready to do her like, you know, celebratory walk around and then the score goes changes for Jordan to get in third and just 
it was devastating because then you the image of jordan running around crying like so happy yeah. and then you see the girl crying in the background so sad i was like that it, no one's talking about this and this is crazy but i feel bad was... on balance beam before the floor like literally everyone fell okay simone fell who got gold um i think the algerian girl oh so simone didn't get gold in that no either. she fell off the beam um suny got bronze maybe okay hmm. question mark i can't remember i mean or maybe sh- they both maybe they both didn't get anything I don't know. I'm, you guys, I can't look. It's fine. It's too much. <laughs> but, uh, but so like probably like five competitors fell. Like it was a whole thing. And Lori was like, sometimes this happens where if you see someone fall, you just get psyched out and you also fall. Or she was like, maybe the beam is a little bit slipper, slip, more slippery than normal. And it just feels weird for everyone. And just something, something is off because yeah. it was wild. Do you don't know anything about the Michaela Skinner no. Simone beef? Don't even know who that is. Michaela Skinner was on the Tokyo team. Oh, okay. And she got to compete after Simone pulled out. Oh. I think she was in the team, but she got to compete individually in something she didn't qualify for because Simone pulled out. Okay. So she was on that team. Like she's a competitive gymnast. She went to the Olympics, whatever. But she put out a YouTube video like a few weeks before the Olympics. And she um, had some, I don't know. She's like just talking crap kind of. Like I don't even know what the point of her video was. Maybe just a stream of consciousness. But like some things she said were that besides Simone, I feel like the talent and depth isn't just, isn't what it used to be. A lot of girls don't work as hard. The girls just don't have the work ethic. So in her video, she's saying this about the, you know, new team USA. Okay. And something about like, it hasn't been the same since the, the Marta Caroli days, which is who used to be the, you know, head of team USA gymnastics for decades. And that's who would pick the team, all the things. Okay. Um, so then when the girls won the all around team, that's when Simone put up her picture and her caption just said lack of talent, lazy Olympic champions with like some emojis. Of, and so it was a direct, you know, jab at Michaela. Be- and I don't know if she had like not addressed it since she didn't say anything. She didn't whatever. Maybe okay. that was her plan all along. She was like, whenever we win, like this is how I'm going to respond mm-hmm. to you. So I think Michaela had already put out an apology video because she got a lot of hate as soon as she posted that video. And I think she had already taken it down, already apologized, whatever. But then Simone did this. So it sent a lot more people to Michaela. And do you remember Michaela Maroney? She was the other girl that um, was a few Olympics ago that would always like make the like this face. Like, or she always had like a, a face like she was not having fun. Let me look this bitch up. Michaela Maroney. I feel like you, there's a definite, like a meme of this. Michaela Maroney. Where she just like looked like she was not having fun. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. She um <laughs> this. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why I can't make that face. <laughs> she put out something. She was like, bad day f- to be named Michaela or something. And she, cause she was like, I want people to know that it's not me. Yeah. <laughs> basically. Um, and then Michaela put out another video like within the last day or so begging Simone to have her fans stop bullying her. Really? And like my thoughts are just like you knew what you were doing when you put out the original video. Like, do you think that you weren't going to get people being mad at you for saying they're, they're clearly not lazy. SUNY came back from a like life threatening disease. My God. Back to the Olympics. Simone came back. Uh, obviously, she was excluding Simone in that because yeah. how are you going to say? But they're all like world class athletes and they wouldn't be where they are without it. And they won gold again. So, yeah, I don't know. I just think she knew what she was doing. She knew that it was going to get views and clicks. Yeah. And I think you kind of just have to take it. I don't know. Sweet. Like, I don't think anyone should be bullying. I don't know what people are saying to her. I'm sure like. There are people that are going, you know, too far with their comments. Mm -hmm. 
And if she's getting death threats, obviously that's never, you know, I don't want anyone to receive yeah. that kind of stuff. But it's also like, come on. You can't be mad at Simone for clapping back. No. And you can't think that, you know, you can't. She also can't control her fans. Right. So you just need to get off the internet for a few weeks. Let it let it simmer. And be a mom. And like, do your thing. Yeah. And then, like, come back and people will have forgotten. Something else will happen. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. Is that a bad take? No, I agree. Because as someone on the internet, like, I obviously don't feel good when people are mean. Sure. But I'm also, like, not purposely talking crap about other people yeah just because right i don't know i also have the metal count up if you care i do care kind of we're in the lead now it was back and forth between us and china but we now are in the lead we have 86 total wow um china has 59 total but it was back and forth with the golds we have 24 total gold and china has 22 so honestly their ratio of wins to golds is better than ours yeah but all that matters is how many, you know, we're winning by. And it's a lot. Okay. <laughs> you so, would say. No, sorry. No, but like for real, like during this time, like I never have more, you know, American pride. <laughs> this is peak <laughs> American pride right yeah, now. Yeah. It's the best way to have American pride. Sure. You know? Sure. And so I just love it. What else? It. What do you have? What's going on? Nothing. It's been one day since we recorded last. <laughs> it has been one, right? When did we record? <laughs> Friday. It's been a few days, yeah. Yeah. But, no, I nothing. mean, I haven't been doing anything of substance. Same. I've just been l- doing laundry house things. <laughs> I did laundry today. I spent a day crying over th- <laughs> the um, one year anniversary of losing macy so that was a day gone that i was just you know crying and then other than that we i mean we had a sweat session and then today yeah i've just been doing laundry you guys think that we are like it's a glamorous life here (laughs) it's but it's not it's really hot it's like there's nothing to do it's so hot yeah it's not an outdoor activity kind of time of year no, but I want it to be. I know. It's just like all you can do is go to the pool or like the beach. Right. And I have yet to like go to the, the beach properly here. But just because you said that, it reminded me this place where we picked up the entertainment center today. Look at the pool at the apartment complex. It's just like mine. Yes. <laughs> I was I like, know. whoa. So this is just a stupid regulation that like. I mean, yeah, but like not really follow. because. Um, one of my friends' <laughs> apartment buildings is not like that. It's That's a, true. a regular, regular big courtyard. Yeah, maybe regular it's, amount. Maybe of it's space. because of the space between. Because that person's apartment complex, like, there's a lot of space in that courtyard. Yeah, it's and vast. like, but yeah, I think it just must have to do with maybe there's a certain amount of space that has to be between a front door and. That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Because mine, there's n- yeah, and a cat mere died. feet. And we and you lost a cat. Well, you didn't. <laughs> my neighbors. It's not funny, but my neighbors, uh, when I moved in, they have a cat now, and I was chatting to them because their cat tries to run into my apartment a lot. Very cute cat. Like, okay. not upset. I don't want it in my apartment, sure. but I like to interact with it outside. Mm-hmm. And then she told me that they had another cat, but it. They woke up one day and found it in the pool, and that's very sad. So I get it. And obviously children. It's it's for the kids. Obviously children. Because she said before they put in the fence that it was a pop-in courtyard. Wow. They were always outside. They were always like, you so know, the, they the had drinks really out there. They always like had their feet in the pool just like the gate really mingling. Messed and now no one at my apartment complex speaks to each other. <laughs> we just... Wow. Walk in and out, maybe like a little nod, a little smile, but no one's mingling. Gone are the days of yore. Yeah. So um, you're going to see Twisters tonight. Mm-hmm. I already saw it, so we'll talk about that next time. Because I am. I got and things to say. Yeah, I have. I've seen some other people's takes on it, and so I've already prepared myself a little bit to not okay. 
you know, have the nostalgia that I wish to have because Twister, the original, is one of my favorite movies. And sure. what a star studded cast. What an incredibly beautiful it's an iconic movie it is and coming from the midwest we always resonated you know tornadoes we did and and rebecca charlene's (laughs) mother's cousin was one of the screenwriters that's wild did you say that last time i think i might have it's good to reiterate it (laughs) but yeah i do like anthony ramos since hamilton you know i've been a big fan i have also said this so i'm reiterating things i've already said i don't like him because he cheated on What's her name? You don't like his actions. <laughs> no, but I do like him as an actor. And Glenn Powell has grown on me. He grows on you in his the films. Like, at the beginning, you're like, Ugh. and then by the end, you're like, okay. He's no Bill Paxton, though, right? There's no Helen Hunt equivalent. <laughs> There's no Bill Paxton. Yeah. No one in this movie, in my opinion, rose to that level. But it's the writing. Whatever. You watch it, then we'll talk. Yeah, I will report back for Effects, sure. Effects, top notch. There were, you know, it's right in the title. There were twisters. Multiple. Wait, have we talked about my recurring dream before? No. I can't imagine that I haven't brought this up. Maybe. But in my childhood, I used to have this recurring nightmare. Like, like all the time for years and years and years where I would be driving on a highway mm-hmm. and there would be hundreds of tornadoes. Sure. around me yeah, yeah. and also there was multiple overpasses going over each other okay like probably like seven or eight tall okay just like and so many cars driving chaotically all these overpasses stacked up on each other and then hundreds of tornadoes and i would just be driving trying to escape the tornadoes and then i would wake up but this was a recurring dream in my childhood oh my god I don't know what it means. Probably just anxiety that I didn't know. Or it's a permanent, or you are a time traveler and you've actually already seen this movie. <laughs> Is that what it looks like? Are there multiple overpasses? Because if there are, like, I'm going to cry. Multiple overpasses in what way? So, it, like, realistically, there's only there could only be, like, two overpasses over each other in Got real you. life. I see what you're saying. Mine are, was, is, like, seven. No. There's not? No. Hmm. But there are twisters, just like in the title. Okay. I wonder if I'll have the dream tonight. Well, here's what I recommend. After. So HBO has Twister, OG. Mm -hmm. Might be too late now. You're going to see it. But before I went to see it, I was like, do I want to watch Twister? But then I was like, no, I'll be too excited that it's going to be similar. Yeah. So instead, HBO has another show called Eye of the Storm. Have you seen this? Three episodes following like three really like insane storm systems in the last like couple years through like Midwest towns Mm -hmm. and like the footage that people recorded of it. And it is crazy. I'm only on episode one, but it's like, whoa, I might have a little time when I get home to turn something on. So I recommend episode one of that. It's going to be a late movie, which I'm scared of staying awake for, but you'll be fine. It's very uh, exciting. Yeah. What's your um, movie snack? What's your perfect movie snack combination? Something sweet and something sour. Oh, sour. Interesting. I really, and hey, hot take. I don't know why I always eat it, but I really don't like movie theater popcorn. I have a weird thing. Not a fan. That is, it is a hot take. 100%. That's I did get the Twister special. Which is? A reusable bucket and cup. Is it one of those weird buckets that looks phallic or looks no, like? No, it's a. It looks like a Halloween bucket. But Cute. if you're going to AMC, mm-hmm. you should get it. It's so. Ch- it was twenty seven dollars for mm-hmm. a large popcorn and a large drink. Yeah, like that's a pretty good deal. I mean, we will be get- be getting popcorn. Well, you tell me what the Twisters special, <laughs> okay. which is exactly what it was called and exactly what I said to the girl and. Sh- she looked I at you like you were crazy. You, I apologize <laughs> if you work at a movie theater, but something has happened with the kids these days. The kids that work at movie theaters when we were in high school were like with it. Yeah. These kids, I have, I don't go to this movie theater and it's like, yeah. who are these people? They're not from this they planet. Young? They're learning how to be human here. They're aliens. Yes. Like in Men in Black. So this woman, I was like, I'll take the Twister special. She goes, huh? <laughs> Turns around, looks up as if. There are hundreds of these popcorn buckets yeah. being handed out. I was like, the Twister's special? A large popcorn and a large drink? And I was like, yeah, with the reusable bucket and cup. Okay. 
They're directly behind her, Allison. <laughs> she walks to the back kitchen. To ask someone? As a manager who was helping a, someone else just gather stuff, yeah. turns around and grabs it from right behind her. <laughs> I was like, what did I order? She comes out with the exact bucket and cup and then is holding it like this. And like, so now you're me and like, this is the pot, like this service area. Yeah. She looks over and sees them and goes, oh, sets them down, <laughs> grabs from there and then fills up the popcorn. <laughs> what? Was she young? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like high school or? Probably, yeah. I would say probably high school. I, she well, was like, sorry that took so long. I was like, yeah, no she worries. She was also probably high. Could be. <laughs> anyway, Twister's special through her. Okay. But you'll see, Twister's special. Okay. <clears throat> I So I have this weird thing where I like movie theater popcorn, but I only like it in the previews. Oh, interesting. I don't like to eat popcorn or really much of anything during the movie. It I distract myself. <laughs> I don't know what about it. Like everyone else, like do your thing, whatever. Unless you're being insanely loud, then I'm not paying attention to you. But for some reason for me, every once in a while, maybe like, uh, you know, a little, a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I, I like to sit down. I like to be eating my popcorn during the preview and then I'm done. Which is sure. why I don't, I mean, I'm an AMC girly, but Regal has a small cup that you can buy. It's the perfect amount for what I like. Oh, right. Because if you get a big bag, then like I'm wasting half yeah, of it. Yeah, of course. So, but my combo is um, popcorn and peanut M and M's. So then, okay. when the movie starts, mm -hmm. like I'm, I'm not mad at the peanut M and M, like because you eat it kind of slowly and sure. whatever. And then obviously a frozen Coke. Oh yeah, I forgot you love that, especially in the summertime. Well, you definitely got to get one tonight. For sure. And you can if you're going to AMC, but if you're going to Regal, Ew, they are Pepsi. also Pepsi at Regal. Oh. <laughs> Hate it. Yeah. I mean, I get it, but I get they have to differentiate themselves, sure. but it's not a good it's not what's distinction. Up. No. So I will report back on that. Thank you. In So do you know about the new uh, pop culture Jeopardy? Jimmy Fallon hosting it. I think Travis Kelsey is hosting it. Am no, I wrong? It's Colin Jost. That's who's hosting it. Oh, I'm a big liar. I just told someone that Travis Kelsey was hosting it. I literally just saw on Facebook not an hour ago that it Colin said Colin Jost. Jost. Oh, I'm sorry. He's actually like, I like him, but like, why is he doing that? True. It could be anyone else. He's not like a pop culture kind of guy, right? He's also <laughs> been commenting. He's a writer. He's been commentating at the Olympics and has like hurt his toes. And he looks like he's not having fun. Yeah, I think that's his sh shtick. Oh, well, I believe like if it was a joke, I believed it to be true. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you saying you're gullible, Allison? <laughs> yeah. No way. Well, I can't believe that I thought it was Travis Kelsey. I don't know where I got that information from. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Facebook was quick baby. Let me look. While you look, have you heard the new way you're supposed to sing the alphabet? Can't get it out of my head. No, please do it for me. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N. O P Q R S T W X Y and Z. Now you will never forget how to sing the alphabet. Okay. Did you learn that from your niece and nephew? No, I learned this from TikTok. It's what they're teaching in school now. It's not different enough to be a new song. It just is because kids were getting confused with Elemento. And thinking it's one letter. Yeah. It's been that like that for Since the older 15th than us. century. <laughs> I almost believed you. <laughs> Level. Um yeah, like it's it's hard all, to do fast. every generation that we know knows that's the original. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's hard to do fast. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T W X Y and Z. Now you will never forget how to sing the alphabet. Isn't it just on the teacher to be like L M N O are separate letters, kids? Yeah, teachers. Why don't you pull your weight? <laughs> I don't get it. Like I'm not trying to be mean no, to the teachers, but like we we grew up and we figured it out. Even if we were six and we thought L M N O was one thing, like as we got older, we learned. So, like, come on. If you're going to have a new song, then make a new tune. I agree. That was just my little intermission. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. 
Um, so in light of the pop culture Jeopardy, yeah, uh-huh. I found a pop culture quiz that I thought I would ask you the questions on. Are you not going to confirm who the host is? Oh, it's Colin Jost. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, which uh, I think is dumb. Okay. Sorry, Colin. I I think Travis would have been fun. wish you and Scarlett all the best, but come on. Oh, that's who he's with? That's who he's married to. Good for him. Yeah. I'm sure he's great. I just was excited for Travis. Yeah. You know? So, meh. But yeah, I thought I would ask you these questions and, you know, we'll see how you do. Okay, great. So without further ado, (laughs) do, 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 pop culture (laughs) jeopardy. (laughs) Yeah. All right. Question. There's actually a lot of questions here, but some of them I think you will answer very quickly. Well, maybe. Okay. Elementary pop culture for 100. It's the title of Black Sabbath. (laughs) One more time. (laughs) It's the title of a Black Sabbath song or a Robert Downey Jr. movie. What did you say? (laughs) The first words. Elementary pop culture for 100. Elementary pop culture for 100. Allison, please. No, I'm just going to. It's multiple choice and I'm just going to give you the possible answers. (laughs) Go ahead. Um, The Wizard, Snowblind, Iron Man or Supernaut. I still don't understand the question. Okay. Elementary school. It's the title of a Black Sabbath song or a Robert Downey Jr. movie. Got it. (laughs) You thought that those were. So you're giving me four things and I have to give place them as one or the other. You just have to give me the right answer. It, the, those were possible answers, but you're, it's two questions. Let me show you this first. So you can elementary pop culture. (laughs) It's the title of a black Sabbath song or a Robert Downey Jr. Movie. Am I reading it weird? <laughs> I don't understand how to answer it. Because Iron Man is a Robert Downey Jr. movie. Correct. So that's the right answer. Oh. But then what about Black Sabbath? Does I that think they must have a song called Iron they Man. They do. Yeah, so that's what, like, this title <laughs> is fits both of those So why things. wasn't it and a Robert Downey Jr. movie? Correct. Okay. BuzzFeed, who you, you work. work for sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll talk to them. Yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so sorry. Pop music for 200. In 2023, she spilled her guts on her second album. Olivia Rodrigo. Oh, you don't even need the options. The Colors of Television for 200. Jennifer Coolidge has a slight problem with staying at this title place. Please, these gays, they're trying to murder me. White Lotus. Pop music for 200. She sorts her songs based on the pens used to write them. Fountain, quill, or glitter gel. You need to calm down is glitter gel. I read that so weird. Taylor Swift. Yeah. I'm sorry. (laughs) Um, uh, Pop Culture America for 200. The Harlem Globetrotters were founded in this city famous for its blues and its fire. Chicago, New York City, Los Angeles, Seattle. New York? The answer is Chicago. Interesting. I, I took this quiz too. I didn't know that. 21st century television for 200. You don't actually get points for this, so I'm just going to start reading the questions and not that part of it. Okay. Nicholas Braun imbues cousin Greg with the perfect amount of awkwardness on this drama. The Last of Us, Succession, The Crown, or Severance. Read it again. Nicholas Braun imbues Cousin Greg with the perfect amount of awkwardness in this drama. The Last of Us, Succession, The Crown, or Severance. Succession? Correct. Okay. Learning that from her ex... (laughs) Start over. (laughs) Learning that her ex had become engaged to another woman inspired her to write Someone Like You, a number one hit in 2011. Dua Lipa. Yeah. The license plate ECTO1 appears in movies featuring this title team. Hmm. The Ghostbusters, The Avengers, The X-Men, or The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Ghostbusters. Of course. Humble was a track on his album, Damn. Slow down. Be humble. Yeah. It's Childish Gambino. 
No. The options Kendrick are Drake, Lamar. Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> yeah. So sorry. Makeup that makes you look like a rock. Panem child labor laws. Are these berries I found poisonous? Hunger Games? Yeah. What a weird... That wasn't a question at all. <laughs> um, what decade did Disneyland open? 1920s, 1950s, 1960s, or 1970s? Disneyland? Mm-hmm. Disney World was the 60s. So, wait, what was the options? 20s, 50s, 60s, 50s. 70s. Correct. Rihanna's 2023 Super Bowl halftime show included We Found Love and this 2007 hit, AAA. Only girl, this is what you came for, Umbrella or Diamonds? Umbrella. Of course. On SNL, it was too hot in the hot tub for this performer as James Brown. He also let us know, I'm Gumby. I'm Gumby, damn it. Eddie Murphy, Will Ferrell, Garrett Morris, or Bill Murray? Eddie Murphy? Yeah. I think like some of the sentences and the questions are worded wrong or okay. weird, and maybe I'm also reading them weird, but yeah. I'm not sure. This Game of Thrones prequel opens 172 years before the birth of Daenerys Targaryen. House of the Dragon. Yes. <clears throat> 2021 saw the first standalone movie about this marvelous title female set during the time of Captain America Captain Civil War. Brie Larson. No. <laughs> I also thought it was that. The options are Captain Marvel, Black Widow, WandaVision, or Miss Marvel. Oh, Miss Marvel. <laughs> WandaVision? It's Black Widow. I wasn't listening. <laughs> you just heard Marvelous. Marvelous. Yeah. Ed Asner voiced Carl Fredrickson in this Pixar film that ballooned to $700 million uh. plus at the box office. Correct. This catchphrase of Ed McMahon was uttered with creepy efficiency in The Shining. Here's Johnny. Yes. <laughs> Here's the truth. Life is murder for Madeline, Martha, Mackenzie, and Bonnie on this drama adapted from a bestseller. Little fires everywhere, big little lies, sharp objects, or a million little things. Big little lies? Yes. I really want a final season. It sounds like we might get one. I never watched it. So good. I maybe is that Reese? Reese, Nicole, Meryl. I think I watched the first Star's episode card. or the first couple episodes and I just stopped. I do that a lot. Oh, well. <laughs> it's very good. Yeah, I'm sure. Sincerely Me is a song from this Broadway show that won the 2017 Tony for Best Musical. Waitress, Hades Town, Hamilton, or Dear Evan Hansen. Evan. Correct. Tatiana Maslany stars in this title character, Attorney at Law. Daredevil, She-Hulk, Jessica Jones, or Moon Knight. She-Hulk. Never seen that. I haven't either. Oh, you just know? Yep. <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow and Chris Martin gave their yummy morsel, born April 14th, this name. Apple. Iconic. That was like when that we were in high iconic. school, right? Yeah. And everyone was like, whoa, whoa. crazy. <laughs> so weird. Yeah. In The Princess Diaries, Mia Thermopolis finds out that she is the crown princess of this fictional Genovia, country. Our home and native land. Genovia. Is that, oh, Canada? Genovia, the land I call my home. It's kind of close to oh, Canada, It right? is kind of, yeah. Okay, before co-starring in Get Out, Allison Williams played one of the girls on this HBO series. Girls. Yes. The start of 1977 Star Wars movie informed us it all happened a long time ago in this place. A galaxy that was really far, far away. <laughs> Imagine they said it like that. <laughs> True. Cassie on Euphoria, star of Anyone But You. Zendaya, Alexa Demi, Hunter Schaefer, Sydney Sweeney. Sydney. Sydney Sweeney. Although Hunter Schaefer is also in. Love Hunter Schaefer. I think they all are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Duh. In November 1967, John Lennon appeared on the cover of this music magazine's first issue. Rolling Stone. Oh, my gosh. You knew that? Mm -hmm. I didn't. 
<clears throat> One of TikTok's top influencers in 2021, she made her acting debut in the teen rom-com He's All That. We just talked about her last week. Everyone put your hands together for that one bitch whose house I almost moved into. <laughs> Charlie D'Amelio. No. Um, Britney Spears wannabe. Yeah. First name starts sounds with Sounds like a, mine. Allison. Mm-hmm. It sounds like that. Allison? It sounds like a- Allison. Oh, Addison Ray. Oh my gosh, I almost said it. <laughs> Addison Ray. Yeah, so one time I was looking at houses to rent yeah. when I was going to live with Cam and Jasmine. And one of the houses we looked at was in uh, like near Topanga Canyon. Oh, yeah. And it was like a rental in our price range. Really like it was like big and had a pool, but it was like really run down. And there were a ton of Amazon packages at the front door. And the guy, the owner who was showing us, he's like, would you mind helping me like pull these inside? They all said Addison Ray. And I was like. It, these all say Addison Ray. He's like, yeah, I think she's like a TikTok star. This is where that she lived here with her mom and dad for a long time. They just moved out, so they were the last tenants. Couldn't believe this is the house she lived in. It yeah. was like the most. So then I went to her Instagram. The only two like cool looking places in the house were the pool area and this yeah. one room downstairs. All of her photos in the house, like yeah, are of course, in those two areas. Yeah, <laughs> that is funny. Yeah, I remember. They, because they moved here. I think they're from like Alabama or something, right? Uh-huh. And she, I don't know if she finished school or not, but she moved out here really fast after she got Some famous. Notoriety, yeah. And that's so interesting. Yeah. Well, and I you'll guess have now to tell her me where. stepdad is going to be. He's, um, oh, her stepdad? Gravy Wavy. Oh, Young Gravy. Young Gravy. That has been a while that like that's there's true. been a back and forth between her oh. mom and him. I don't oh, know. Okay. But her dad got in some. I think he's. Something's up. Yeah, I don't think I don't think it's a good situation. <laughs> but I don't know. Anyway. Okay, this veteran co-actor. Whoa! Why can't I read? Well, they're worded weird. This veteran actor co-starred in *The Devil Wears Prada* with Emily Blunt, who has since become his sister-in-law. John, John Krasinski, Krasinski, Colin Firth, Hugh Grant, Stanley Tucci. Oh, Stanley Tucci. Yeah, she's married to to John, John yes. right? So Stanley Tucci is John's something. Yeah, weird cousin. No, he's related to John. I know that. That's wild, and I never knew that. Yeah, nepotism. I'm gonna have to look that up later. <laughs> she's named in honor of her grandfather William. The rest of her name is Pirate Baird O'Connor. Your favorite. Put your hands Connell. together. For Billy Eilish. Billy. Lord. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Billy Eilish Lord. Billy Eilish Lord. <laughs> yes. Okay. In 2012, Willie. I'm, gonna... I'm going to jump somewhere. Okay. In 2012, Merriam Webster added this phrase about inspiration popularized by Oprah Mansplain, aha moment, hate watch, or hot take? Hot take. It's aha moment. Oh, yeah, that does sound more like Oprah. <laughs> Beyonce's April 14th, 2018 show as the first black woman headliner here has become legendary. Coachella. Well, yes. <laughs> Anya Taylor Joy helped make this miniseries one of streaming TV's most successful. The chess show. Yeah. Queen's Gambit. Yes. <laughs> the chess show. Popular dance songs of the of the sixties included ones called Blank and the Peppermint Blank. The options are Twist, Mash, Pony, or Mashed Potato. In the seventies, sixties, sixties, Mashed Potato. It's the Twist. I think Peppermint kind of gave it away. Baby. Peppermint Twist, you know. Let's do the Twist. Okay, yeah, you're right. On Oscar night in 2017, this film took home six awards, including Best Director from Damien Chazelle. Moonlight, Whiplash, La La Land, or The Martian? Moonlight. It's La La Land. Oh, but that was the whole mix-up night. Oh, right. Yeah, the guy announced La La Land as Best Picture, but it was actually Moonlight. Yes. How awkward. Um, Speaking of Damien Chazelle, did you watch that uh, movie that came out a few years ago? It was um, 
who was in it? I never saw it because I thought it looked bad. <laughs> Sorry. But I just wanted to know your thoughts if you had seen it. But let me tell you. Because you, you somehow watch so many movies. Babylon? Oh, yeah. Did you see that? I did see that. Did you like it? Yeah, I did. I thought it looked bad to me. I'm not going to lie. Not well, bad. Like, I didn't think I was going to like it. Yeah, well, sometimes trailers can be deceiving. Yeah, but that's the point. Right? True. You're right. <laughs> um. Yes. Okay. Wheaties cereal and the Baby Ruth candy bar are introduced in this decade. 1910, 1920s, 1950s, or 1960s? Baby Ruth. So that would have had to be when he was playing baseball. So 20s? Correct. Ice Spice and this singer, whose fans are called Barb's, are fittingly in the Barbie soundtrack with Barbie World. Nicki Minaj. True. In the summer of 2002, he had a chart-topping hit with Hot and Her. Nelly. I was just listening to him today. Is, do we like him? Is he still in Good Graces? or did he? What? I thought he was married to Ashanti. So cute. No, they're back together. No, aren't they like secretly married and having a kid right now? Yes, but like, was were them being back together? Was that a secret or just the wedding? Like forever ago, they were together and then they got back together at some point. Understood. Didn't know. OTP, so cute. But just like making sure that because I like him, but I wanted to make sure that I I have no, I have no idea (laughs) that we that's collectively we still like him. Okay, the Duffer Brothers created this TV series that debuted in 2016: Riverdale, Stranger Things, DC's Legends of Tomorrow, or Euphoria. Stranger, Stranger Things. Saturday, March 24th, 1984, Shermer High School, Shermer, Illinois, 60062, Dear Mr. Vernon. Uh, this is an opening line of a movie. Oh. The Breakfast Club, Pretty in Pink, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, or Heather's? Ferris. It's The Breakfast Club. Oh. This is a time where I should have read that beginning category because the category is movies opening lines. Yes. So okay. it would have made sense. It's, for no, that. I mean, you did explain that. I still <laughs> took a swing. Uh, this 2020 Switch game from Nintendo was subtitled New Horizons. Animal Crossing? Animal Crossing. I have it. And you know what? I haven't played in a minute and I need to get back to it because my forest, beach, whatever we call it, mm-hmm. is suffering. And I know that there's cockroaches oh, there's in my house. So many cockroaches. You've got to go clean that up. <laughs> On Parks and Rec, this four-legged phenom was Pawnee's biggest star. Lil Sebastian. (laughs) Yes. The rest of the question for those (laughs) who need to know. Um, Andy sang 5,000 Candles in the Wind at this memorial. Bye, bye, Lil Sebastian. Who's Lil Sebastian? He's a miniature horse. Oh, did he die? Yes. That's really sad. He does die. Um, Harry Potter acquired the ability to speak this language. Stanley that was crazy. <laughs> just whipped his head at me when I said Harry Potter. Harry Potter? Do you like Harry Potter? You are tripping. <laughs> um, he acquired the ability to speak this language of snakes. Possum tongue. True. Is that true? Yeah. Huh. Wow. <laughs> you said it so like strong. Yeah. Billy Joel Armstrong of this band lamented, wake me up when September ends. Green Day. Bisexual King. Oh, he is? Wow, work. This animated Fox series features the Belcher family who owns a restaurant. Bob's Burgers. Yes, correct. Oblivion singer, mother of techno, Me- Mechanicus Musk. Okay, let me say that again. Category is? Category is name of the celebrity. Oh, okay. Uh, Oblivion singer, mother of techno mechanicus Musk. Your options are Julia Fox, Azealia Banks, Grimes. Grimes. Or Charlie XCX. I think it's Grimes. It is Grimes. And that is the name of one of their kids. Techno Mechanicus yeah. Musk. And like, good on her for giving that kid the last name of Musk. Yeah. I Like, if I was their kid and my last name wasn't Musk, I would be changing it immediately. Yeah. Can you just change your name? Could I change my last name to Musk? Why aren't we all just doing that? Because <laughs> it feels like it's a lot of paperwork. For sure, but it might help me True. in life. You're right. <laughs> um, okay. 
She hosted the 2021 VMAs and won Best Collaboration for teaming up with SZA on Kiss Me More. Doja Cat. Correct. Ooh, this is a name that is hard for me. Myowaki is the last name of your best American girl indie rock goddess who goes by this single name. Claro, Lofi, Mitski, or Bjork. If I said any of those names wrong, I apologize. Oh, my only one I know is Bjork, so I'm going to guess Bjork. But she's from Iceland. It's Mitski. Okay. Sorry, Don't know Mitski. who that is. He played the hot priest who was the object of affection for TV's Fleabag. Andrew Scott, Paul Mescal, Joe Alwyn, or Pedro Pascal? Is it Pedro? It is not. It's Andrew Scott. I don't know who that is. I don't Do either, you? and I only watched one episode of Fleabag. Okay, well, look him up and see if he's hot. What's his name again? Andrew Garfield? Andrew Scott. <laughs> uh, two first namer. Do you think Paul Mescal's hot? Because I actually don't know who that is. I only see Pedro Pascal when I hear the name Paul Mescal. He's not doing it for me. Me either. <laughs> Good for you, though, Andrew. Yeah. Okay, Barbara Streisand's fans know this is her middle name because it's in the title of a 1971 album. Joanne, Joan, Rhiannon, or Bet? I don't know. The gays are going to come for me. Do you have a guess? It's Joan. All right. Barbara Joan. (laughs) Barbara Joan. That's TLC doing the theme for this 90s Nickelodeon sketch show that starred Kenan Thompson. All that. This is is all that. This is is all that. that. (laughs) Was that harmony? No. (laughs) It wasn't, but it was fun. (laughs) Yeah. Okay, that was the end, I guess. Fun. Wait, do you get a score? When I did it, because I'll I talk took, to BuzzFeed. When I took this already, I got a score. So maybe got because it. I already took it and my IP address is attached, you oh, don't maybe. get a score. Okay, well. But that's annoying. Well, congratulations, you got most. Thank you. I feel like you overall you would get an A, don't you think? I feel like that was A worthy. For sure. Mm-hmm. Well, um, there you go, everyone. And I'm excited to How watch. How did you do? Did you take the quiz at home as well? <laughs> I've said it really fast, so I apologize. But if you um, want to, this is on BuzzFeed and it's called Pop Culture Jeopardy Quiz. So there you go. There <laughs> Even you though go. you've already gotten the answers. Um, but I am excited for Pop Culture Jeopardy because I like to play regular Jeopardy. I'm not great at it. I kind of do well at the teen Jeopardy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but if even then, those kids are so smart. Oh, geography? I'd be out. No. But yeah, Pop Culture Jeopardy, that should be fun. Yeah, excited for that. Down. Okay. Birthdays for August 12th. Dixie D'Amelio will be 23. Okay. What babies? I know. Um, The YouTube gamer Dream, do you know who this is? Yep. He will be 25. Remember when he revealed his face? Yes. And everyone went crazy? Yep. My queen of the Olympics, my... Who's your queen? My queen, Lona Maher. She is the rugby player who is very famous on social media. She did a great job of her like her platform after the last Olympics. She got very TikTok famous after that one, and she has stayed famous. And now she is really keeping it up in, you know the olympic village mm-hmm. she's as soon, as soon as she got there she started making videos calling it um the olympic villa because love island had just ended uh-huh. and we were all on love island tiktok sure and she was like tr- she's always trying to find love she's always trying to find a man so she was like playing it like it was a dating show that she okay. was in the olympic villa and then she kind of had to focus on rugby, but then they won. So now she's back to making a lot of content, and I'm very excited about it. She will be 28. Okay. And congratulations to the female rugby team. They won a medal. I don't know. what Was it bronze? I don't know. But they won a medal, so congrats. Congrats, you guys. Cara Delevingne. I'm going to guess. Okay. It's her 30th. No. Oh, she's still young, huh? She's 27. No, she's older. Honestly, I thought she was older than this. 33? And I'm, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, she'll be 30. No. She'll be 32. Oh, okay. Next, we have Hannah Burner. Do you know who that is? Comedian. Hannah oh, yeah. Hannah Burner. Yeah. Yes. She's 33. Okay. Will be 33. 
Then we have is Sir Mixalot. Will be sixty one. Oh. Yeah. Um, and just for S and G's, here's just some pop culture things that happened on August twelfth. Shits and gigs, got it. I was like S and S and G's. <laughs> so Paw Patrol. <laughs> what about it? That premiered in twenty thirteen. Wow. Um, the movie Sausage Party. Okay. Twenty sixteen. Um, the movie Fall. Have you ever seen that? I haven't watched it yet. It Last year. Twenty twenty two. Actually, I would like to see it. I think it would be very anxious and indu- anxiety inducing. Yeah. Um, 13 the musical released in 2022. Starring 13 the musical? Yeah. I'm confused about that as well. Teenager moves from New York City in a rural town in Indiana after his parents' divorce. It's here that he aims to win over his new friends by throwing the coolest bar mitzvah ever. This film was directed by Tamara Davis. Oh, it's a film? Yeah. 13, the musical, the movie? Yeah. Because Ariana Grande was in the musical, the original on Broadway. They must have adapted, okay. and I guess we should watch it. Okay. Also, Indiana didn't know that. Mm. Um, DuckTales. Woo! Premiered in 2017. That has to be something new. Yeah, for sure. But, what? well, okay. the Miss Pat show. Have you ever <laughs> heard Miss Pat or, no. like, seen her? She is hilarious. Okay. I've um, heard her. I've watched her show, but I've heard her on some podcasts. One of the funniest ladies ever. Oh, really? Yeah. Her show um, is just about her life. Premiered in 2021. Cute. Hmm. Anything else of Day Shift? You did a promotion for that. I sure did. Did you see the movie? Nope. Okay. <laughs> and the iconic Lady Gaga was album oh. Applause. No, song Applause. Oh, okay. Um, released in 2013. Was the single one of the singles? I guess A League of Their Own premiered in 2022. What the is show. this? That's the, it was on Prime Show. I didn't know that. But got they're canceled. using a picture from the original oh. movie. So that's. Well, the show got canceled, which stinks. Didn't survive the writer's strike. Yeah, okay. Well. It, they should have left it alone. Yeah. The song Super Freaky Girl released in 2022. The movie 30 Minutes or Less released in 2011. That's a good movie. My King, Jesse Eisenberg. Oh. <laughs> but it's based on a true thing that happened. Have you ever seen it? No. It's where um, this guy gets, you know, I forget. I'm not good with, you know. Plots. My <laughs> brain. But this guy um, gets like abducted or whatever by these criminals and they put a bomb on his chest and they make him go rob a bank and it's going to detonate at a certain time. And this really happened. And I think it actually really did detonate and the police had to just like let him, I'm (laughs) bad information. I need to look this up. Okay. So 30 minutes or less is loosely based on this. It's kind of a funnier movie about like kind of what I just said, but in August in 2003, a 46 year old pizza delivery man walked into a bank in Erie, Pennsylvania, armed with a shotgun modified to look like a walking cane and handed the teller a note demanding $250,000 in cash. A collar bomb was fastened around the man's neck and the note said it will go off if you do not give me what he wanted. I heard about this. I think it actually did go off. It did. And I saw it on, there's uh, a, documentary yeah there's an iconic like photo or video of like all the police officers kind of like standing at distance back from him and him like sitting on the pavement yeah just like waiting and it's like could we have not figured this out i don't know that's crazy and what a note to end on yeah (laughs) um thank you guys for listening um i hope you're having a great august i hope that it's not 108 degrees where you are unless you want that kind of thing who would, you know? I hope the temperature is exactly what you want it to be. <laughs> and I hope all of you going back to school are stoked and good luck to those that are. <laughs> For and sure. If you're a parent and your kids are back to school, congratulations. Congrats. You made it through the summer. <laughs> True. All right. Well, um, leave us a speak pipe next time if you want. Comment, follow. If you're not subscribed, please do that. Leave us a rating anywhere you want to. And we will see you next week. Have a great rest of your week, everyone. Okay. Bye. Bye.